was devastating to hear that it happened again. Dan Pleckenpole has seen a lot in his first six months here at the Jewish Community Relations Council. You know, you got Pittsburgh, you got New Zealand, you got Sri Lanka, you know, and now obviously Poway, California. After 30 years with the Plymouth Police Department, he's now head of security for JCRC, a position that never existed until now. Things have been going, uh, it's been a very good challenge. The challenge, making sure the Jewish community feels safe in houses of worship, meeting with religious leaders across the Midwest, giving them advice on how to improve security. 38 of them so far I've done for security. One of them is Beth El Synagogue in St. Louis Park, where Tuesday night, Rabbi Alexander Davis and others will host a forum on anti-Semitism and security. Has security been on the minds of some of your members? For the first time, I've heard something that I never imagined I would hear from an American Jew. Recently, they told me they feel like they have to have an escape plan. Leaders we spoke with say so far the fear hasn't led to a decline in attendance thanks to improved security in recent months and a stronger relationship with law enforcement, something Catholics are doing too. These days you just I don't think you take anything for granted. Michael Campion joined the Archdiocese of St. Paul Minneapolis security team four years ago after a decades long career in law enforcement. He says church leaders want more security but want to keep that calming environment of faith. So I think there is a balancing act there. That that will be the challenge moving forward, Pleckenpole says, with more religious groups turning to law enforcement to feel safe. Other faith-based communities will probably be following suit with uh, these types of positions and see a need for it. In Minneapolis, Gordon Severson, CARE 11 News.